Hello, this is Tommy. Welcome back to Chatomics. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to combine multiple counts files into a single file using Unix commands. So this is very common actually in bulk only sequence data. For example, you get the counts uh, per sample individually. So you have each sample, you have two columns, the gene column and the counts for column, and you want to combine them into a single uh, data matrix. How do you do that? So Unix commands are still one of my favorite tools to wrangle data and in terminal. So in this case, let's take a look uh, of the dummy data that we have. So sample one, two, three, four, TSV here. So you see uh, each file has two columns, gene column, ABCD, EFG, and the count column, okay, for that gene. So if you look at sample two, it's the same thing, okay? So we have four samples here. So you might want to just use the cat command to concatenate all the files together. For example, you can use cat and then the use the wildcard so it will actually capture one to sample one, two, three, four. And if you do this, uh, the problem here is you have the first problem is you have the header repeated in every file. So what you can do is uh, instead of using cat commands, you use the awk command. So awk is a very powerful tool uh, for data wrangling. So I highly recommend you to learn how to use it. So in this case, we can use awk. So this is uh, the, I think called number of records, either equals to one or file number record greater than one. I think uh, then if you sample TS3 and let's see how it looks like. Okay, so now only the first uh, header is get, getting printed. So for example, um, this can be kind of um, new to you, but what I usually do is Google, okay, how to combine multiple files with, uh, without repeating header, for example, uh, using awk, then you will find this solution. Okay. Uh, okay, so, but the other problem is, the second problem is, uh, now you don't know which uh, sample this one is from, right? So in awk, there is built-in uh, uh, variable called file name. So what you can do here, you can use the print function, and you can print the S0, essentially is the whole record for each line and then use tab and then file name. So if we do this, see how it looks like. Um, oh, so I missed the curry bracket here. Okay, now you, we have the sample name actually pre, uh, like in the third column here, uh, which is good for most of them. But however, this, call, uh, this is more like the uh, header, we want to probably rename that as just sample. So to do that, so press er, er, uh, up arrow sign to repeat the previous command. So you can use the seed command. So seed is another tool that I highly recommend that you learn how to use it. So you can use the, so one meaning, okay, only the first line, substitute the sample one dot TSV to sample for example and let's do that and now you see only the first line here you can get uh, replaced to the sample okay and maybe i also want to remove those dot tsvs so let's up arrow again and then pipe to seed and just substitute every line if it is a dot tsv then replace it to empty string. So let's see how it looks like. Now it uh, looks like this. So this data still uh, is in this long format, right? So we have three columns here and uh, we can identify these genes uh, from which sample those counts are from, right? And to actually wrangle it into a, a wide format, it's more like, okay, rows are genes, columns are the samples. Uh, you need to use uh, this new tool called CSVTK. So actually, I 
uh, introduce it before. So it's a very powerful tool for wrangling TSV files uh, in the command line. Okay, so CSV TK, uh, it has this spread and gather functions that are very similar uh, for the uh, gather and spread functions in tidy, uh, tidy R uh, function, uh, package in R. So what you do here, you use CSV TK, and because it taps uh, delimit file, you use dash T, and then the key will be the gene, and the values will be from the key will be from the sample so essentially those will be the column names and then the values will be the count essentially the gene counts how, let's see how it looks like oops uh, oh uh, okay it's, uh, it's not let's look at uh, the help for csvtk spread the key and the value yeah that's right let me see oh so i forget to specify the subcommand called spread so now we have this file There's, now we have this count matrix right the rows are genes columns are the samples so after you do this, you can just save it into counts TSV. And then let's look at the counts. Okay, so now you have a file in your file system here called counts.tsv. Uh, okay, where is it? Uh, it's here. Okay. Okay. So I hope uh, you see how powerful Unix commands are if you know those uh, command line tools really well. Um, for example, seed and awk, those are really powerful ones. I highly recommend you to learn how to use them. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how to use R uh, to do exactly the same thing. Uh, stay, in, uh, stay in tuned and I will see you next time. Happy learning. Make sure you subscribe to the video if you find it helpful. See you next time.